This week marked the 80th anniversary of the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. That was the largest Jewish revolt against the Nazis during the Holocaust. It was led by a group of underground armed Jewish resistant groups, and it stands out in history as yet another example of the Jewish people's courage in the face of the unimaginable horrors committed against them throughout World War II. On Tuesday, which was Holocaust Remembrance Day, I visited the Poland Museum of the History of the Polish Jews and spoke with Marian Tursky, a Polish historian and a survivor of the Auschwitz death camp. He talked about whether an atrocity on the scale of the Holocaust could ever happen again in America. You talked about a conversation you had with Martin Luther King. Uh, could you share that? with our audience? When I got to Selma, the famous sheriff clerk asked me, are you sure that you want to be there? I told him, yes. But if you get there, you are not permitted to get out. Okay. And among others, I was asked, because they knew I was in Auschwitz, I was the survivor of Auschwitz, and they asked me, could it happen elsewhere, and I answered, yes, it could happen even in your country. So how to prevent it? I told them, this is only in your hands. If you defend, protect your constitution, your laws, right, your rights, civil rights, your citizens' rights, then you will win. If not, you will fail. You will... It, happened, it could happen to you. And, and then you and talked about now, January and the 6th. And now I tell you, after January the 6th, I'm happy. I'm happy that you Americans, you were able to protect your rights, your civil rights, your constitution, your right to live in democracy. And this is the best test. What does it mean, democracy? Still, it is in danger. There's no something done forever. But what you did, this is also, it helped us. And I hope that our struggle for freedom, for civil rights, will help you. Oh, my gosh. So powerful. So powerful. What an incredible conversation. What an incredible opportunity to be able to speak with him, especially there. Um, what do you all people who are watching this, and, and, and we definitely should um, put this out on social and amplify this as much as we can, what do you hope they will take away from his message? Well, I'll tell you I, what I took away. The night before, uh, we were actually at... Um, uh, at an event with Marion, uh, with your brother, mm -hmm. an event uh, that David Zaslov hosted uh, with, with Warner Brothers, uh, f because the four Warner Brothers yeah. were Polish and they came to America and they had made contributions uh, as well. Uh, and so there was this there was this understanding. Bob Kraft was there. Uh, he, of course, has such uh, has uh, such an extraordinarily important organization. I've already said Ari Emanuel, Steve Ratner were there, but we sat there and we listened to speaker after speaker there to commemorate the 80th anniversary of the Warsaw Uprising, but also um, the Holocaust. And we had again an extraordinary man in Marion, a Holocaust survivor. And what struck me was Marion coming up and what he said. And what your brother, the uh, U.S. ambassador to Poland, said, uh, what Kashi Kelly, who you know yep. very well, gotcha. when when uh, she and David Zaslov were afraid that TVN was going to be shut down in Poland, one after another, they talked about the values of freedom in the West. They talked about fighting, protecting constitutional rights, civil rights, freedom of speech. Yeah. And it's amazing that all of these speakers across all of these backgrounds, 
across all of these generations against, with, with, with radically different experiences, they were all bonded together by this belief that we have in the West, that we've had in the West for some time, uh, belief in, in freedom. Yeah. And that that, uh, and let me bring in Reverend Al real quick, that that is the through line, Reverend, from a survivor of Auschwitz to an executive running a TV uh, uh, network that's being threatened uh, to be shut down because they don't like the message that's being sent out uh, to a U.S. ambassador who is working uh, with, with allies to help push back a Russian invasion. Of course, the most extreme example uh, is, uh, of all of this is an Auschwitz survivor fighting. But as you saw, he, he drew lessons not only from Auschwitz, but from Selma and from January the 6th to say, this is the through line through it all. And this is how you avoid a future Auschwitz in your country. Absolutely. And I think that wow. real leaders, real responsible leaders or influencers have to keep drawing that line. Uh, a, a gentleman named Bill Wachtel was in my office the other day. His father uh, was one of the closest people to Dr. Martin Luther King, along with Stanley Levison and others, uh, because they saw that through line with the civil rights movement. And I think we don't talk about that enough. We get in our silos. And it, it was just moving to hear him talk about yes. his own survival. But then to link it to Selma, this is what we must do. It, it was very moving. Hanging yeah. on every word. And, and really, when you look at uh, what's happening here in America, it's not to underestimate the Fox News situation, not to underestimate the division in our politics, the extremes, the disinformation. January 6th, it all matters. And another place where it matters. Well, you're just, 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 just pushing back, yeah, against disinformation, just pushing back against narratives that are false. Again, big or small. I mean, big or small. We're, we're, we're not equating one thing to another to another. It's a fight to defend the truth. It's a fight to defend civil the rights. It's a fight in the end to defend rigorously the Constitution of the United States, because you'll notice that's what Mary and the Auschwitz survivors said. Yeah. That's where it starts. You defend the Constitution. You defend the rule of law. You don't let people come in and talk about terminating the Constitution or terminating elections because they didn't win. Incredible conversation. I